drumsandbeats.com. Welcome to drumsandbeats.com. I'm going to show you how to use time stretching. If you have a sample in a different beats per minute, then we can convert it and time stretch it to a different beats per minute. This is handy if you have lots of loops or vocals and you want to adapt them to new situations, new songs, new tempos. All right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I got this basic uh, guitar lick down and I want to add some drum loop and a and a kind of riff from another guitar to it. And I'll show you how to do just that. So that's what I have right now. Kind of spacey guitar lick. All right, and then I have um, Rusty Wah here. And I'm gonna do a solo later on top of that. All right, so to begin with, we're going to select the sound that we want. And I'm just gonna click on an empty one here. And we're going to browse and load a, load a loop into that. So you go to your disk um, and locate where your um, loop is. And I'm loading these two in there. And then go back. All right, so you can hear. That's pretty slow. It's definitely not 120 beats per minute. All right. And to begin with, we're going to adjust it so it's not one shot, but it's ADSR mode. So when I tap it, it won't repeat. Um, it'll just play as long as I hold the pad down. Okay. So to do that, we're going to select the, the select the module. sample here sampler and we are going to go to instead of one shot ADSR alright same with this one ADSR so I can make some cool um, rhythms with that later on okay so we're going to start with adjusting the drum uh, time stretch. So select the drum and go to sample, sampling, and the sampling will come up. Okay. And using the F1 and F3, you cycle through the different options. And we're going to select, of course, stretch and click F2 to select it. All right. Now, now a stretch uh, menu will come up and you can do it through the machine here. And we're going to adjust it. Um, length, fine. Okay, new source. Okay, the source uh, beat, beats per minute is 77 at four bars. And you can have an automatic detect. Now, the automatic detect doesn't always work 100%, but most of the time it does. So you can try it out. And if it doesn't, well, then you're out of luck and you'll have to find the beats per minute. Um, maybe it's labeled on the file or it says elsewhere or you have to use a different program. Um, but most of the time it works. So mode, beat, okay. There's different modes you can pick. Beat, freestyle. Um, we're just going to keep it on beat, okay. And once you've set everything, just click F3 for applying. Boom. It's applying. So let's hear it. Okay, this is definitely 120 beats per minute. Now, we're going to do the same with the guitar. All right, um, same thing, stretch. And we're going to check what the source beats per minute is. Um, it's 100, all right? And we wanted 120. So everything seems fine. We'll try that, apply. All right. All right, seems like about the right speed. So, so exit sampling mode, and we'll go back into here and record those on. All right, so shift record. Okay. 
and I'm going to quantize that. All right, so that fit. That worked out. Now I want some guitar. Let's play around, see what I can do. So I can just hold the sample down the whole way through and keep it as it is, like this. Or I can make my own rhythm using the ASDR mode, the feature, and do that. All right, well, I prefer to do the latter because it's more creative. And I have the chance, of course, to slice and dice this loop, but we'll get into that in another tutorial video. All right, so we'll just record this. And quantize. So that's pretty cool syncopation there.